so today we will be designing a 2 to 1 multiplier and then cascading it to make a 4 to 1 multiplier and 8 to 1 multiplier. So first of all, you would have to create a file and then you would have to specify some sources. The first source would be a design source. And to make that design source, you just need to click add sources, add design source, and then you should have a text editor right here. And at the top, there should be a time scale, and it indicates that there is one nanosecond per lap. So you would have your module right here. Mine is multiplier two to one. You would have some inputs, A, B, and cell, output X, some gates, and their, their ports. You have N module, and to this point, you would have to click schematic right here. And you should have this schematic right here. There are the inputs A, B, and cell. There's an inverter, two AND gates, a SOR gate, and an output X. Next up, you would have to create a simulation source. To create that, you need to press add sources add simulation source and you should have a text editor right here. This sim simulation source is to create is used to create a test bench for multiplier 2 to 1. And so here we have the module. We have some registers A, B and S. We have wire O. We call the design source multiplier 2 to 1 and then map its ports. We have our initial begin our bits the 10 here represents the nanoseconds. We have our end to our initial and an end module. And using this simulation source, we have this test bench. And this test bench, once you simulate it, you will have a timing diagram. And to simulate it, you press run simulation, run behavioral simulation, and then you should have this right here. There should be some ones and there's an X because of the X in the code. The X is right here. And then you would have to do the same for multiplier 4 to 1. So you would have to also add sources, add a design source. So once you add a design source for multiplier 4, you also have a text editor like this. And then here, we will use the multiplier 2 with the inputs, outputs, the gates, and end module. And you would cascade it three times, as you can see here, for multiplier 4. There should be inputs, outputs, some wires. This is calling the module two to one. And then here we're mapping the ports and cascading it three times. We have our end module. And to get the schematic, we have to press run schematic under RTL analysis. So this is the schematic you're supposed to get. For the multiplier 4 to 1, we have our inputs. 
We have AND gates, inverters, OR gates, another set. As you can see here, it's cascaded, or the 2 to 1 multiplier is cascaded three times, and there's output P. And so similar to the 2 to 1 multiplier, you would also need a test bench for the 4 to 1 multiplier. And so to do that, you would also have to add sources and add a simulation source. And here we have more registers. We have a WAR. We're calling the design source multiplier 4 to 1 and mapping its ports once again. We have our integer i to declare a variable for the loop. We have our initial begin, a display. We have our bits. There is a display name. There is the for loop. This is in hexadecimal value. There is a begin. Cell 1, cell 0 is equal to i. We have our delay 1 right here. And the display for the bits. We have an n for the for loop. We have a finish, an end to the initial, and an end module. And again, we would run simulation. The simulation might take a while to run. And so you would have a timing diagram like this once you run the simulation for the 4 to 1 test bench. As you can see, there's ones, zeros. It's red right here because in the test bench for the 4 to 1, we have an X right here. And so we would also do the same to the multiplier 8 to 1. And so you would also have to add a design source, and you should get this right here. So in here, we have our 2 to 1 multiplier, the inputs, outputs, some gates, and end module. We will then cascade the multiplier 2 to 1 within multiplier 4 to 1. We cascade it three times right here. This is mapping the ports, calling the function multiplier 2 to 1. Inputs, output, wire. We also have our end module. And from here, we would also have our 8 to 1 multiplier module. There are the inputs, outputs, wires. We're calling the module 4 to 1 right here. All of this is within one design source calling each other. 4 calling two, 4 to 1 calling 2 to 1 and 8 to 1 calling 4 to 1.
And as you can see right here, this is calling the 4 to 1, mapping the ports, calling the 2 to 1, mapping the ports. And then we have our end module. And from here, we run schematic once again. And you should get this complicated schematic. And to see things clear, right here. So we have our inputs. We have inverter, 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 AND gates, OR gates, inverters, AND gates, OR gates, another set, and an output P. So as you can see here, the multiplier 2 to 1 is cascaded within the multiplier 4 to 1 right here. There's three, it's cascaded three times. Same applies to this one. And then the four would be cascaded two times to make the multiplier eight to one. And then we would need a two to one at the end to complete the eight to one. So then you would have to create a test bench for multiplier 8 to 1. And that should be done by adding sources. It should look like this right here. We have our name and then we have our registers, wires. We're calling the design source module multiplier 8 to 1, we're mapping the ports, we are declaring an integer i for the loop, we have our initial, we have our begin, we have our display, our bits, we have another display, this is for the name of the bits, we have our for loop, 16 as our hexadecimal value, we have our begin, S2, S1, S0, the selector, our delay of one nanosecond, another display, this time displaying the bit values. We have an N for the for loop, a finish, and an N to it, the initial, and we have an N module. And using this test bench from a simulation source, you would have a timing diagram by running simulation, running behavioral simulation. This might take a while. Sometimes the program freezes because this is within the virtual lab. With a little patience, it should be back to normal. And here it is, finally running simulation.
And so there should be a timing diagram and it should look like this. There's zeros, ones, X's because within the test bench, there are X's right here and here. And so all in all, today we learned how to use a two to one multiplier, casking, cascading it to make a four to one multiplier and then cascading it again to make a, an eight to one multiplier. Thank you for watching.